work on Mark D'Andrea with Red One Really, the Doctor of Real Estate. And I'm Dana Kitchen, your Agent Plus. We left off, Dana. I said that you had, in my mind, contributed two things very significantly, not only to AMP, but you know, it, it dovetailed well with your business. I remember the day when uh, we determined on the AMP team that we wanted every agent to have their own tagline, their own logo. Correct. And you volunteered to kind of create those. What, why would you do that? And what makes you the type of person that can take on that kind of marketing aspect of the business in the middle of building your own business? Well, I like to help people, not just my clients, but also my colleagues. Mm. And as a new agent, you're kind of in a place where you're not sure where to start, what to do. And one of our tools with the AMP platform is getting a logo. And I thought if I could help other agents start to build their business mm -hmm. and that just be a minor tool um, that made a huge impact on a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And it was fun getting to know the agents and their taglines. And, you know, I'm not a graphic artist, but it's more of a hobby for me. So it was kind of fun creating things and seeing other agents' visions, whether it's um, residential or commercial or whatever their little niche is. It was kind of fun yeah. connecting those two together. So that's fun. I appreciate mm -hmm. you doing that. Dana has quickly become one of the leaders uh, on the AMP uh, mentorship platform. So um, I really appreciate you. Yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> You'll forgive me. I'm, I'm getting over a cold. It's okay. So next, what is it about real estate that fits well with your personality? I mean, coming out of healthcare, you've got to you've got to enjoy working with people. But what's one of the main things that you have found is most helpful? about your personality that helps you be just an outstanding marketer of real estate services. Well, I'm a multitasker, so I can do a lot of things at one time. And in this industry, you have to be able to do multiple things at one time and do it well, whether it's... Let's, let's yeah. drill down on that. Okay. So I'm sorry to interrupt. Okay. So we talked, we mentioned earlier, there's no such thing as a part-time real estate agent. No. And we, what we mean by that, guys, for those of you viewing, Mark Hutchison, looks at this kind of stuff a lot. Uh, he went out on the internet and if you believe Google, one of the searches he did was what, what tasks, how many tasks does a, a typical real estate agent perform during uh, a transaction or during the marketing of uh, the real estate services? And one of the lists he looks at, there was like 186 things, which I think is not true. Uh, that's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> but it probably boils down to you know, 12, 15, 20 different things that you are, <clears throat> excuse me, organizing for um, any given client on any given day. And it's just impossible for anybody to think that if you work outside of real estate and you have your real estate license and you're experienced and you're an expert in it, that in any way, shape or form that can be considered part time. I mean, you did it for, I did it for almost a year and working a full time job and then have clients you're going into contract with, or you're having a listing go live. I found myself staying up very late at night <laughs> just because you have to do that. And I'm here to like take care of my clients. So yes. you just push through. <laughs> All right. Were you ever of the mindset when you first got your license, came to Red One, joined the uh, AMP team, the AMP platform, were you ever of a mindset that your business model would revolve around um, talking with a lot of strangers about real estate or um, how did you begin to market your business at first? Well, part of it is your sphere of influence, but you also have to make marketing of real estate services everywhere you go, whether you're in line at the grocery store, whether you're getting your car serviced or wherever you are, you have to always be making conversations. You're imbuing your world with real estate. Absolutely. Yeah. Does Absolutely. That, would you say that, that also assists you in uh, learning more, uh, growing your experience, growing your footprint? If you're, if it's always on your mind, is that something that you found helpful? You, you started out marketing, I think 
really, really well. Mm -hmm. That was the other thing mm -hmm. I think you brought to mm -hmm. the team mm -hmm. is a, a, a focus on marketing your services, making sure that the most number of people knew about mm -hmm. that. Well, you have to. I mean, we're all in this industry and we're all fighting for the next deal um, or the next client. So, you know, the squeaky wheel gets the oil. So you, know, you just got to keep pushing and keep, keep yourself out there. Let's talk about, you, you said something just now. I'm sorry, I'm interrupting you. <laughs> it's okay. You talked about fighting for that next client or fighting for the next deal. So let's just drill down on that. If you're working with folks and you have a broad skill set as it relates to real estate, and you know, you go to Hondros and you are, <coughs> excuse me, taught about the law of real estate, you know, the ethics of real estate, you know, appraisals, uh, principles and practices that are kind of all dovetailed so that you know how to go out and, and perform and be a professional and behave as a real estate agent. But there's nothing about what you're taught that teaches you about how to market run, build, grow a real estate business. So when you mention fighting for that next client, uh, I don't know that you, I'll call it, fell into the trap of, of um, chasing what, what we'll call leads. Mm -hmm. You were more about developing relationships with the folks that already knew you and liked you and trusted you. Were you not? And I don't want to put words in your mouth. No, I agree with that. Um, and I don't really use the word leads, whether it's a lead from a social media platform or another person, I look at them as connections. Yes. So, because I truly want to make a connection with somebody and my clients and I've done that with all of my clients. Yes. You're, you're looking to, um, provide information, be of utmost assistance, mm -hmm. no matter what their particular. Correct. Is. Mm -hmm. We'll delve into that on our next video. If you can hang in there with sure, me. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Guys, once again, thanks for joining us here on the Agent Mentorship Platform Network. I'm Mark D'Andrea, the doctor of real estate with Red One Realty. And I'm Dana Kitchen, your Agent Plus. She got really good at that. <laughs> Have a great day, guys.